welcome back to another Let's Roll Play of Dragon Age 2. I am Marion Hawk. Ooh, nice mountains in the background. It's actually... If you lived up top, it wouldn't be that bad of a view. I mean, the city is... Well, that part over there is kind of horrible to look at, but the mountain in the back is not bad. Uh, probably... You know what that reminds me of? Like, the bone pits. Uh, which way am I facing? The bone pit is to the northwest. I am facing north now. That's northwest. Yeah, could be. You could see it from the bone pit, yeah. Oh yeah, let's go and visit Merrill. That's why we're here. Armor allows a character to shrug off a fraction of the damage. Come on, Daisy. You've been holed up in here for days. If you don't get some sunshine, you'll wilt. I'm not a plant, Beric. I'm fine. Just take a walk around the low town market. Get some air, and I'll stop bothering you. I know you mean well, but I have too much to do right now. I'll let you talk some sense into her, Hawk. She's been working on the mirror. Varric is very sweet. Frequently infuriating and a terrible busybody, but sweet. Were you looking for me? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> I'm sure something is wrong somewhere in Kirkwall. But right now, it can wait. Checking up on me? I suppose you think I might summon an army of demons at any moment. In the market the other day, out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw Tamlin. I blinked, and he was gone. I don't know what it meant. Maybe nothing. Maybe I'm going mad. I miss them all. Even the keeper. Talon from her. The, her Dalish clown? Or was that Tamlin from way back when that died or went missing from the Alluvion? Which is the mirror. Um, hmm. I'm sure the keeper would like to see you again. I'm sure she would. She loves to lecture. I bet her new first appreciates that. I wish I could have seen it. It doesn't matter. I'm here now. Maybe Varric was right. Shall we go out for a bit? I could use some sunshine. <laughs> sure, we can take you along. I think, uh... Fenris wants to go. Yeah, Fenris wants to go home after everything you just went through. We will take Meryl along. And let's go out. So we've checked all throughout daytime, Lowtown. That's Meryl's home. That's where we are. We can go to the docks, but we're going to visit uh, the, the last person, which is Anders. But we'll blow through uh, Darktown looking to see if there's anything. This is where my uncle is supposed to meet that uh, person who has the gem that he was after, which is kind of strange. First I've ever heard of it. Yeah, so we can go also look into that while we're here. He was very defensive about it when I brought it up, so... Ha! <laughs> dark Spawn is the real dark. Okay, and who are you? We got nothing here you'd want. Get back to Hightown and leave us alone. At least part of the missing mage is that we're looking for. Does Evelina live here? Why are you here? This is our home as much as it is hers. Evelina shared everything she had with us. Evelina found us when the Darkspawn came, when our parents died. She made sure we got to Kirkwall safely. I miss her. But when she went to join the Circle here, they called her apostate. For leaving the tower in Ferelden. They locked her up. Don't you have any other family? Everyone died in the blight. Evelina kept picking us up, new children every day, everyone she could save. Do the Templars know you're here? I don't care. They only want Evelina. Didn't she want to stay free with you? She didn't want us to be stuck in Darktown. She wanted to give us a real life. She thought the Circle would help her, but they just locked her away. 
You came from Ferelden? Yes, until we got here, I thought we were the only ones who had survived. No. <laughs> if you tell me where Evelina is, I'll try my best to help her. You can trust me. No one can help her. The Templars made Evelina angry. They made her change. It wasn't her fault. When it was over, she was ashamed. She ran into the tunnels and hid. Shut up, Cricket. Don't tell them that. She's in the sewers, child. You can't go there. She'll know we told you and she'll be angry at us. Angry? I didn't like when she got angry. We... we have to hide. Sounds Cricket. like... She's become an abomination. Why is you? Why are you named after my dog? She's become an abomination, and she was listed as the most dangerous of the three mages. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, Carta again. Cricket, come to us. Oh, who are you? <laughs> Scream your war cry after the fight's done. That's always good. Okay, um, Meryl, you have gained a season. 40 willpower, 40 magic. Well, let's take her magic up. Confirm. So her personal tree is all done. We are into the entropy tree as well. Does she? Is there a different one? Yeah, there's spirit. That's where you can create, yeah, death siphon, walking bomb, dispel magic. But we're in entropy. So, um, misdirection hex. The mage casts a binding spell that makes an enemy likely to miss and prevents it from inflicting critical hits. Oh, she used to have that in my first playthrough before it was toasted. That's good to throw on to a boss. Very, very good, actually. Uh, I'm going to throw that, put that in here. Uh, enemy. Let's see. Rank. Um, boss or higher? I don't know what's higher. But, um, usability. It's misdirection hex. Really nice. Okay, so that's done. Simple as that. Anders is this way. Aveline, what's in your mirror? What do you mean? In your mirror? What do you see? A warrior? A wife? All the mistakes I made to get here and make it right. Why? What have you decided to see? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Cracks, mostly. <laughs> Maybe I'll borrow yours sometime. If that's all right, it's all right. <laughs> so Aveline did get married. There was a ceremony. I think she did it in secret, though, and then went on her honeymoon. I believe. Anyways, uh, there's a crate right here. Let's grab the crate. Another canary sword. I didn't have to pay for that one. You think I don't know the city guard is just another arm of the Templars? That is completely unfair. If they show up here, I'll know who to blame. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to see that. I just can't be too careful. Now that the Knight Commander has basically appointed herself Viscount. Are you in trouble? Not personally. But I grow less hopeful each day. The mage underground is all but destroyed, and those left have turned to blood magic as their only option. Which Meredith knows will prevent any chance of the public taking their side. There's still one good mage left in the city. I don't know how you continue to believe in me. How can people be so blind? The blight was stopped only with the aid of two mages. One an apostate. But it makes no difference. The Chantry set us on this path long ago. It would take something truly catastrophic to change people's thinking now. <laughs> Anders apparently liked what I had to say. Okay. So let's go hunt this gem down for my uncle. Or this person that wants to trade the gem. 
And uh, then we, I guess we can look into the missing mage. But I, you know what? I, I don't really want to follow that right now. Oh. Are you the ones who sent the note about the gem of Karoshe? We were beginning to think you wouldn't show. It's rude to keep people waiting, you know? It's not like I don't got things to do. To inconvenience an upstanding citizen such as yourself? My, where are my manners? Don't <laughs> talk down to me. I ain't stupid. See, we was hired to give you a note. But this gem of Kirashek thing the note talks about, we decided we want that instead. Wh you better hand it over. Oh, I'm supposed to have it? Okay. And just what the heck kind of beard does this guy have? I've never seen that in my life. It looks ridiculous. Almost something like out fr um, from Fable. <laughs> the game Fable. Uh, have one and two. I've never tried three before, but some of their beards are outlandishly ridiculous. I'm surprised you know what a note is, let alone know how to read one. I don't need to know how to read. All I need to know is which end of the sword goes where. We aren't going anywhere without that gem. Great, so my uncle had it. I thought that these guys were supposed to... Anyway. It's a good time to use your electricity magic there, Meryl. Yeah, she is. Apparently you didn't know how to use a blade well enough, and you're not even using a blade, you're using a mace. See, if you look, um, is he petrified? Yeah, he's got rocks around him. Meryl did that. He's defending herself. Oh, that was quick. The wallop mallet. What's a wallop mallet? Maybe we should ask your uncle. What? Ask Gamlin about the wallop mallet. What is it? Gamlin, this gem is very pretty. I can understand your obsession with it. Remember the game, wallop? Find your, find the place your wallop mallet came from. Your answers are there. Okay, so it does make sense that we would look into that. Strange. Oh. Yep. Tevinters. Slavers. Jeez. Bloody mages. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, apparently that teleport didn't help him. And he's dead. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have to keep pausing it because I find targeting things, because they're always moving around, uh, not easy. So, uh, I do pause it after my target's been killed. I, I try to do it as quickly as possible. Okay, so anything down here? We do have to go in the sewers, I guess, but... I'm not in a hurry to... I guess uh, I guess we should go hunt her down. She's also dangerous. She's an abomination. I was going to say I don't... I mean, I want to help the Knight Commander, but I'm not going to... I'm not her slave. I'll do it my own time when I bloody well feel like doing it. But let's go find this abomination because she is a danger. Anything up here? I think I... I don't know if I went through here. Tom Wise. He sells poisons. Or it's not real King Alistair on a ship. Okay, let's go find the mage. The apostate. She does sound dangerous. She got angry and she changed. That's what the boy said. Here it is. It's the entrance to the sewers. Abominations. We cannot leave. I, unfortunately, we'll probably have to kill her. It's the only way to end it. She will not come in peacefully, not as an abomination. The Fade Spirits, Fade Demons, and here's more demons here, which she's probably called in. Uh, yeah, they don't want to leave this world easily. Cricket, we need... Oh, Cricket's busy. Come on. Come on. 
back, are you? Yeah, see, I, I, I don't... If I don't pause it, I don't target things properly. Would you freaking... See, even it's pause, I can't target it. Where, where is right there? I suppose I could get used to it, doing it that way. I mean, it's not like in the Elder Scrolls games I'll be able to pause it um, in combat in order to target different things. That's more of a twitchy game, though. It's not like... This is a point-and-move type game. As, as are all Bioware RPGs. You can all pause every single one of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I did jump out of the way, though. That's interesting. Where the heck is... I don't see where I triggered it. Go while the flames aren't out anymore. Where's where's it being trick? Oh, the demon was standing on it. Yeah, that's a lot of demons. <laughs> stepped on it again. So she must have gone this way and left the demons to prevent any pursuit. I think she must be living down here then. This is where she's hi hiding out. Because you wouldn't be setting up all these traps if you're just escaping. So we're getting close to her. I suppose she thought her demons and her traps would kill Templars and keep them from pursuing, but I'm a lot more crafty than your average Templar. Templar. Uh, here's the street rats. What are you doing here? I, I thought if we warned her about you, she, she wouldn't be angry. But then she... Walter... She's coming! Run! What the... There you are. Her. Don't run from me, Walter. You know those are the rules. Funny. In my house, we always felt running away from violent mad women was a good thing. These are my children. You and your kind abandoned them. You're Ferelden. Like us. That you feast on sweetmeats while your people starve in the Undercity. I spit on you, traitor. And on the pathetic Templars that sent you, Turkwall should be mine. Then my children will have a whole city to play in. Okay, so I actually donated money to her several times because she was begging on the streets. I had no idea she was a mage. And this is also a good reason why we need the Templars to keep the mages under control. She is an abomination and she's just lost all control. Whoa, 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 what's that? Get away from it. I've never seen a mage do this. She's changing to different demons. She keeps coming and going. Don't quite know what the heck's going on. Okay, she's down now. But her demons are still here. I don't understand. Evelina loved us. She saved us. Why would you try to hurt us now? Evelina would never hurt you, child. That was a demon. Remember her as she was. A brave, kind, loving woman. I... I'll try. Pray for her soul, child. The Maker may have mercy even now. I just don't know what we'll do now. Take this, and use it wisely. 
Thank you, Messer. I should go buy some food for the others. They've been hungry for a long time. Every battle is training for the next. Okay, the fight's over, guys. <laughs> Every battle's training for the next, yep. Somewhat true. I've been training for years. Okay, so we basically stopped her. I knew it wouldn't... If When I heard that she's most likely an abomination, I knew it wouldn't end nice. Apparently some mages... Um, because when they connect to the Fade, they can, if they open themselves up, they can hear the voices of the demons saying, uh, we'll help you, we'll let us take control. Especially when they're uh, under a lot of stress, like if they're casting a lot of spells, their life is in danger, or they're trying to maintain a lot of spells, the demons will contact them. Um, blood magic only makes that even stronger, way stronger. Um, they may not, your average mage may not even hear it, but if they use blood magic, it's like a conduit, like opening the door, a bit for a demon to be whispering so uh that being said a lot of mages uh especially during blights apparently they will if they believe that there's no hope for them they will pr allow the demons to take them over uh when they're surrounded by dark spawn and the abomination is quite powerful especially if it's casting spells and they could take a lot of dark spawn with them and it's actually not a bad thing to do i mean if you're gonna die and go down anyways might as well go out with a bang and take as many of them with you as possible Unfortunately, uh, the blights will just keep growing until, unless you can kill all the blue, brood mothers, or you kill the uh, archdemon, which is kind of controlling the whole show. Um, kill the archdemon with a warden. Warden has to be present, otherwise. Yeah. Okay, so I think we've done everything in Darktown. I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.